First World Order Radio, finally, finally, we are on the air. No doubt. All right, all right. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. Begin on into some of that order consciousness tonight. First World Order Radio every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We got to talk about what is taking place on the planet. There's always going to be somebody in the building on First World Order Radio. First, we need to let you know we're going to be doing more shows, giving out more information on Wednesdays. Wednesday is 8 o'clock. We are now going to make this is the hottest day of the week. Seen in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. Proceed in others in time, order, and importance. The most prominent parts, voices, or instruments. Earthly state of human concerns and existence. An indefinite multitude, quantity, or distance. System regulates to bring about specifics in the group based on value and natural characteristics. Current radiates electromagnetics of sound through the air, same as your thoughts transmits it. You need to understand how magical this, uh, something like this every Wednesday can become. So you need to start uh, getting your calendar right, get your schedule, your schedule right. You need to know our intention straight out. All right, so, I mean, these clues are given throughout the various languages was to piece the puzzle of this ancient mystery school back together again. And what we plan on doing, both of us, is bringing y'all some surefire dynamite. We're going to take this level up a notch. We're going to have stuff to do here. This is not just going to be about philosophies and theories and shit that works. You have an activated pipe in which that produced this black chemical called melanin. We, what we did was gave a hard line in the sand between the different definitions of esoteric study and exoteric study. Playtime is over. Peace. Back once again with First World Radio, your host, Dr. Alain Bay. We are back once again, and we're going to be going over a topic in which we went over actually like over three years ago in which that We've seen the coming of this so-called zombie epidemic in which that they was getting ready to try to put into place. Um, we got some new updated information, so we're going to share that with you all tonight. So just hold on. I'm going to go and bring on my co-host, Brother Fahim L. You hear Grand Sheik? Uh, Dave, what's your East? How are you doing tonight? Uh, very well, Brother. How the Brother doing? All right, all right. We're doing well. We're doing well. We're getting ready to get it busy. And, um, right. you know, get up and break down what's really going on here. We've been getting some top-notch information in which that is dealing with, I guess you can say, the Pentagon and how the Pentagon has written up some type of plan of action. They laid out an actual plan for a battle against zombies. Hmm. You know, they thought this, you know, Matter of fact, um, I'm going to read a little bit of the article. This is by Jamie Crawford, um, CNN. All right, so this is right on CNN. This is May 16th, 2014. So mm-hmm. this was just last month, and it says, Pentagon document lay out battle plan against zombies. All right, it says, wow. Washington, it says, never fear the night of the living dead. The Pentagon has got you covered. From responses <laughs> to natural disaster to catastrophic um, attacks on the homeland. The United States military has a plan of action ready to go if either incident occurs. It has also devised an elaborate plan against a zombie apocalypse before the country. According to Defense Department document obtained by CNN, which I also have those documents, but in it, it states in an unclassified Document titled C O N O P eight 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 
officials from United States strategic strategic command used the scepter of the planet wide attack by the Walking Dead as a training template for how to plan for real life large scale operations, emergencies and catastrophes. As the Pentagon say, there is a reasonable explanation. All right, let's get to that reasonable explanation. Um, The document is entitled as a training tool used in an in-house training exercise where students learn about the basic concepts of military plans and order development through a fictional training scenario. Now, this is the Navy captain, um, Pamela Conzi, a spokeswoman for the United States um, Strategic Command, told CNN that the document is not a U.S. strategic command plan. All right, mm-hmm. that's what it said. Nevertheless, the preparation and the th- thoroughness exhibited by the Pentagon for how to prepare for a scenario in which Americans are about to be overran by flesh-eating invaders is quite impes- um, impressive. It says a wide variety of different zombies. Now, they, they classify the least... Um, Five or more types of um, zombies. Um, when you read the report, the report is about 31 pages. Mm-hmm. But it says a wide variety of different zombies, each brandishing their own lethal threat, a possible to confront. It should be planned for according to the document. It says the zombie life forms created via some form of a cult experiment in which might otherwise refer to as evil magic to vegetation zombies that pose no threat to humans due to their exclusive consumption of vegetation to zombie life forms created after an organism is infested with a high dose of radiation or among the invaders the document outlines it says every phase of the operation for conducting general zombie awareness training and recording all military personnel to their duty stations to deploying um, recon teams to assert the general safety of the environment to restoring civil order and authority after the zombie threat has been neutralized or discussed. It says, and the rule of engagement with the zombies are clearly spelled out in the document, the only assumed way to effectively cause casualties to the zombie ranks by tactical force is the concentration of the old fire power to the head, especially to the brain. The plan reads, the only way to ensure a zombie is dead is to burn the zombie's corpse. And right now, anybody who's been watching The Walking Dead... Right. Like for the last four years, um, no coincidence that The Walking Dead, as well as also the first um, bout of this, you know, came out all around the exact same time. So they're telling you the storyline, you know, through the TV show The Walking Dead, but they are actually setting up plans of action, you know, from the military via the United States government but yet claiming that it's not on the U.S. citizens, but yet it's going to be but the zombies or the flesh eaters of those in the United States. Now, somebody got to explain that shit to me. All right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> how, how is that against the U.S. citizens, but yet it's against the zombies in which that is in the United States? Um, exactly. So that means that, obviously, the United States citizens is going to be turned in some shape, form, or fashion into zombies. Um how is that occurring? I know when the first tales of this um, broke, they were saying that it was salt baths, all right, in which that these individuals was taken. Later on, the report came out that it wasn't soft bath in which that was in. Like, for example, um, everybody heard about the report of the guy who was eating on a homeless guy and biting off his face and everything down there in Florida, all right. Now, one of the strange things about these zombies is that they always got to get butt naked. All right. Um, if you go and read any report or look at any YouTube clip on the reports of the so-called zombie 
apocalypse, you will find that every one of them includes the zombie have to be butt naked and then biting on you. All right? Mm. Um, they say that it was salt baths at first, but come to find out, it was marijuana in later reports. Now, mm. what type of marijuana is this? Because obviously it's not cheaper. All right? Which is, uh, you know, everyone who is 25 and older, you know, may remember and know what cheaper smells like before this other hybrid um, plus hybrid thing is which that is out here now. Many do not know uh, what real cheaper smells like, you know, um, because it's hybrids. There's so much hybrid. I mean, they got AK-47 and they got all these different hybrids um, out here now. Um, the funny thing is that when you go and find out about all this hybrid legalization of medicinal marijuana, and which that has been now been legalized in at least 11 states um, medicinally, um, even more. And now uh, Colorado has become the first state in order to actually um, make it, you know, uh, to be distributed. You know, huh. um, but what is this that they're actually putting out on the streets through this legalization? It is not um, cheaper. It is not what Rick James said is Mary Jane. It is not what our mothers and fathers were smoking. I'm, I'm sorry. Right. But it just isn't. This is the hybrid things in which that is being put out and tested by Masanto, which is Rockefeller Company, in which that now we have Philip Morris, which is one of the largest and leading cigarette makers, to now come forth and say they will make marijuana cigarettes. Uh, uh. All right? Masanto is now putting out GMO'd, that's right, that's what I say, GMO'd marijuana. It is modified. That's what they're putting out. Marijuana. <laughs> Right, GMO. Now, check this out. This 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 is the article. It says why legalize marijuana? It says because GMO pot is on its way. Okay, so Monsanto's marijuana is coming. It says the U.S. corporation Monsanto plans to launch production or genetically modify marijuana in companies such as Drug Policy Alliance. Why Open Society Foundation are going to create our own brand, which will be produced under cannabis information portal, um, portal La Red 21. It says the organization of Open Society Foundation is under the control of the shareholder, Masanto billionaire George Sorrow, company drugs. Policy Alliance, Wide Open Society Foundation, funded by Monsanto, will be responsible for marketing, development on transgendic, transgendic, all right, just like you have a transgender, homosexual thing, which agenda in which they are pushing, now they got the transgendic seeds of marijuana, hmm. all right? Now, hmm. understand what this transgendic seed is, because we come into such um, the way in which that this marijuana is being hybrid that there is no longer seeds in it. All right? So it says there's many reasons why Monsanto and other companies producing GMOs would like to learn a new product. Marijuana may be the next major GMO crop. First of all, the companies plan to produce GMO manipulate so-called municipal or medical marijuana. If pharmacists join with GMO companies, all right, now we know that this will happen because you already have on the United States Supreme Court, you have old Uncle Tom himself. Right. Who was a, a actually um, an advisor and worked for Monsanto at one time as a legal mm -hmm. advisor, and he's on 
Yeah, you know, I don't know, um, brother. Um, do they know who I'm talking about as far as Uncle Tom? Oh, oh yeah. United States Supreme Court. What you, what you think? You think they know who I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> they might. They might. Okay. I don't, and if they do, I don't know how many. Well, right. No. There's only one Uncle Tom on there. <laughs> That's right. The one All that right. was uh. Got him had some problems with Condoleezza Rice that time. I give him a hint. Not, right. not Condoleezza Rice, but uh, uh, not Condoleezza right. Rice, but uh, not uh, Condoleezza Rice, but um, Anita Hill. Anita Hill. Now I give him right. a hint. Right, give him right. That was the hint, right? That was okay. the hint right there. Right. Name start with now, Thomas. Now I don't give him the last name. Now. <laughs> I gave him first name Thomas. Now, I ain't give him the right, last name. Right, right, right. All right, so. <laughs> So, so we know, all right, it's going through because um, they got their plants in which that actually worked for Monsanto um, at one time on the United States Supreme Court, as well as also they have them within the government because we've come to find out that there are at least four different, I guess you say, workers under President Obama who worked for Monsanto. At one time, and they are in head positions or leading positions, you know. So we know that this is getting ready to take place. So it says there are many reasons why Monsanto and other companies producing GMO would like to learn a new product, and marijuana may be just the next major GMO crop. First of all, the company plans to produce GMO-manipulated so-called medicine marijuana. Or medicinal mm. marijuana. Now, if pharmacies join with GMO companies, pharmaceutical mafia can create transgenic strands with the ability to produce more active compounds, which are patented and can be implemented as a medicine. So now they can boost the THC levels through the manipulation, okay, it is also worth noting that the former strategic director, Jermaine Stravely, Microsoft, also announced that it has plans to patent in the U.S. its mm. first national brand under which will be produced hemp imported from Mexico. A new company is also based in Seattle, Washington. It says businessmen say that the initial funding for the project is $10 million to start the company's products and will be distributed only in two United States. But at the request of Shirley, it says, we will seek to ensure that in our hands was 40% of the cannabis in the world. Mm. Okay? Now, that's just one article. All right? You can pull up another article about Philip Morris, the leading you know, one of the leading so-called cigarette companies also saying that they're going to cash in on this um, supply of new transgendic <laughs> weed. Okay, <laughs> this is what they uh, this is what they um expecting here. All right, matter of fact. Uh, we'll go to that article. It says, Philip Morris in, in do, um, introduces Marlboro marijuana cigarettes. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? So this this is what they're saying now. This, you know, this is what they're saying. It says, Philip Morris, the world's biggest cigarette producer, announced today that they will join the marijuana legalization bandwagon and start producing marijuana cigarettes. <laughs> All right, so we so everybody got to understand what's going on here. How we get the zombies, and how we get this transgenic marijuana, and how we get the two together is because in the earliest reports, when they thought it was bath salts, the reports came back later on that said that within the blood of the man in which that bit off the face of the homeless guy in Florida was marijuana. 
It is not bath salts. Mm -hmm. So this means that they already are pushing this transgenic hybrid, no seeds, because you know Monsanto is all about no seeds. Matter of fact, their their whole cash product is about terminating terminator seeds. (laughs) So when you find this hybrid thing, which has no seeds, and we know what it is about no seeds. Seeds means no seeds means no life. Exactly. And there's no way possible that can be organic, because the word organic stems from the root word organ, which means to live. Mm-hmm. So that means it's not. That means if it's there's no seeds, it is not organic. I'm sorry. Um, if you eat in seedless grapes, if you eat in seedless watermelons, if you eat in anything in which that is seedless, it is sterile. It has no life or very little life. Okay? Mm. Sometimes you can't help it. But when you can, the whole science is, is that understand what is going on. This is the thing about being conscious. Okay? So... We have to be able to understand what is coming down the pipe. Now, we ain't necessarily so wrapped up into conspiracy theories. However, we can see when something is trying to be manifested and when we get the word out, hopefully it can put a stop to it or at least enlighten people to the point where they can see the connections and they can also view for themselves what is getting ready to take place and they can tell others. Because this whole thing is about each one teach one. So we do this through the radio show in order mm-hmm. to get the information out because we understand what's getting ready to come down the pipe. All right, so when you read that particular article about Philip Morris, it's real, um, real f- funny, you know, because um, also another leading um, cigarette is actually Reynolds. All right, Reynolds deal with tobacco, as well as also with um, other bass products, Reynolds wrap, as in aluminum. Um, but Reynolds is one of the families of the so-called 13 top Illuminati families. You can get that information from um, Tom Collins, um, who was back in the 70s, who was actually was part of the Collins family, which is one of the 13 top Illuminati families. You can also get that information from... Um, myself from my video, um, the 13 Kaluminasi, um Blood Clans. Um, y'all might have heard Brother Panic speak about that one. Um, mm-hmm. You know, in which I break down the 13 families and their connections. You know, and we did this shoot almost. That was that shoot. We've been building on this for like 20, 25 years. I remember mm-hmm. telling people this information in college. You know, mm-hmm. so it's kind of redundant that we have to still tell people this information. Here it is, twenty twenty five years later. Yes, it know. is. Um, mm-hmm. But it's relevant. You know, I can't say that it's not, but it is. You know, because you know we didn't have the internet. You know, we had to um, depend upon the libraries, reading actual books. You know, as well as also. Um, possibly getting some information at lectures, you know, but there was no Internet that we can go to in order to just put this out readily. All right, so um, another individual you can check out is Lynn Horowitz. Um, He breaks down about the Rockefeller and the Rothschilds drug connection and their pharmaceutical connections, their FDA connections, and how these things are put in place, you know. Um, like we said, the Rockefellers, along with George Soros, these trillionaires and billionaire families, you know, are the ones in which they're strategizing, you know, these plans, all right? Um, I remember reading a report back in the days, it actually was, Signed by Jimmy Carter, who was president at the time, and which that it was, it was actually dealing with the year 2000. Even though we have passed the year 2000, it was interesting that in the report it was called the Global Plan, 
or the Global Report 2000, it stated specifically that 2.7 billion people must be eliminated from the face of the planet, preferably by famine, drugs, disease, and war. One of those things was drugs. So here it is. Mm -hmm. Um, Later on, we see, for those who do intense research, you will see coffins um, in Georgia and FEMA camps or concentration camps or detention camps, which is also debt prisons around the country in every state. And you see the so-called United States or the Union States broken down into 10 sectors in which that would deal with uh, possible plans of uprising or possibly for what they're saying now, the zombie epidemic or apocalypse in which that they got planned and which that might occur. Um, we see that anyone who do their research on YouTube, you'll find that all these individuals always end up somehow negative. Um, and they are actually biting, like we said earlier, they actually are attempting to bite on people, you know, eat people. Hmm. You know, so this this is the strange things in which that is taking place. Um, Brother L, you got any comments to make on um, on this yes, um, uh, zombie epidemic in which that they talk about is coming? Yes, uh, it's interesting because Illinois just passed a law to grow uh, marijuana uh, plants in different farm areas, and uh, as next door to the Missouri Republic, you know, so um, I'm sure that Missouri probably in ne- next in line to pass a law similar to that one, and also the need to uh, 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 pay attention to movies, uh, to the uh, science fiction channel, and they, they they touch on a lot of that, uh, like you said, the Walking Dead series. Uh, a movie uh, uh, about three or four years ago go called The Crazies, uh, 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 Resident Evil, uh, movies like those, you know, that are always talking about flesh-eating people or zombies. And that's what they are talking about, things uh, that uh, and, uh, that's coming in the future. And that's what they're, letting, they're trying to let people uh, to know, to warn people. That's what they're doing, actually. If right. people... <laughs> Can can really if most of the people can really see what they're doing, you know. But they, a lot of people just think it's just entertainment. No, it's not entertainment. It's a mess. There's a message behind the message that they're trying to relate to the people. Right. Mm-hmm. As a matter of uh, fact, um, let's read this article. This is dated January the fourteenth. No, January the 21st, 2014, it says, Philip Morris introduced Marlboro marijuana cigarettes. It says, Philip Morris, the world's biggest cigarette producer, announced today that they will join the marijuana legalization bandwagon and start producing marijuana cigarettes to marketing under the brand Marlboro M. The cigarettes will be made available for sale through marijuana license outlets in the state of Colorado and the state of Washington when it becomes commercially legal legal there this year. All right. Um Sanderson mm. Norkit, it says Philip Morris's senior vice president for marketing said in the interview that the company has been high on the idea of marketing cannabis and has been monitoring the market for some time. Mm. It was only when the recent legalization initiatives went in, in Colorado and Washington that they finally made the decision to take a leap of faith. Now, we understand is that all of a sudden, they got for the last over 10 years, going into 15 years, they had cigarette commercials in which that they was bashing cigarettes. Right. Mm-hmm. Here they are bashing cigarettes, right? Now, anybody with common sense would know that why would Philip Morris or Reynolds or any other tobacco company allow for commercials to be made in which that would bash cigarettes and slow down their sales of production if they did not already have a backup plan to go to something else? <laughs> okay? Mm-hmm. 
Now, it says Nordic, it says added that they have begun contracting with former drug lords in Mexico. <laughs> Hold up, once again. Norkit added that they have begun contract, contracting, contact, um, contact, excuse me, former drug lords in Mexico. Hmm. Now, currently, the largest marijuana production companies or country, excuse me, in the world for the possibility of setting up a distri- distribution ring around North and South America um, continents, the s- streamline the supply line. Uh, supply lines. It says, since only tobacco products are currently banned in advertisement and promotion in the United States, Philip Morris also have set aside a huge $15 billion advertisement budget just to promote the new Marlboro M. Mm. And are now negotiating with major networks and publishers to start marketing the product to consumers in the beginning of 2015. It says Norkid also revealed that a big initial p- push is planned around January next year and has acquired more of the ad airtime for the Super Bowl. Hold up. They get ready to do this during the Super Bowl mm, wow. of next year. However, since marijuana will be legal only in Colorado and Washington during the 2015 Super Bowl, all the ads will be blocked out in all the other states and will only show a status M logo with smoking bowling in the background for the duration of the ad. <laughs> it says Philip Morris um, shares his an all-time high on the marijuana news. Check this out now. Philip Morris shares his an all-time high on the marijuana news and, sh- and, sh- and shot up to 420 Dollars from eighty three dollars and three cents just a few hours after the announcement went public. So a share in Philip Morris went from eighty three dollars and three cents to four hundred and twenty dollars in a matter of hours after the announcement went public. Hmm. 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 That's something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's something, you know. But once again, you know, uh, beware of what you're smoking <laughs> because um, this zombie epidemic in which that they're talking about is supposed to be reaching an all-time high between now, 2014 through 2016. Now, anybody can listen they just get ready to make this thing public by 2015. Mm. So as more and more states legalize this, these companies, in which that was once the largest tobacco sellers, will now become the largest cannabis sellers. All right? Mm. Let's think about the secondhand smoking. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Mm. What you think, brother L? Second, the second hand, you no, know, like you know, you be sitting by someone to be smoking that mess, you know, and you are not even smoking it, but you get the second hand smell from it though. Mm, okay. Think about that, okay. you know. See, you know, uh, uh, there'd be more people affected just by besides the smokers, right? You know, and I mean. <laughs> I mean, like you said before, uh, you've been saying this for uh, for the last 25 years. Uh, I've been saying it for the last 25 years myself. And uh, uh, you said it is kind of redundant that uh, that people haven't quite caught on yet, you know. (laughs) But, uh, you know, we're still trying. You know, we're still trying to get the word out there. Hopefully, and not only just us, even the, uh, the the movie theaters, Hollywood is trying to get the word out there. You know, but they're doing it in such a subliminal way, and but that the people don't really get it yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, Resident Evil, yep. uh, The Walking, like I said, the Resident Evil, The Walking Dead, uh, uh, 
So oh, man, I mean, so many of them. Like I said, they should pay attention really to the Sci-Fi Channel, and pay, but they touch a lot on that. Uh, uh, always about some virus that, that got loose, and, right. uh, and, and 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 people start eating each other, start being cannibals all overnight. You know, there's always something like that. You know, but uh, right. but there's a lot of truth to that. Mm-hmm. Some of the people just take it as, as just as like any other movie. You know. But it's not. But they're not. They're, they're not taking heed. But I, was, I can say we got to keep on trying. To get the word out to them. Right. We're at the metal, I see them in the, in the grocery stores. Yeah, watermelon, seedless watermelon for such such such, such dollars. You know, seedless grapes. Yeah, come and get your seedless grapes. Come and get them. You know. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Uh, man, you name it. They they they, they trying to do uh, uh, GMO med- medications as well, you know, genetically altered med- medications, you know. Uh, they coming out with it. They might come out even in these cigars. They probably next. Right. I believe. Uh, uh, you name ice cream. Uh, the some of your food that we eat. Uh, even a lot of a lot of in a lot of vegetation uh, products, right. vegetarians. You know they going uh, sure. Uh, um, I'm sure uh, uh, Monsanto has thought about that. Right. Probably into the soybean products. Um, <laughs> so you got to be careful with that also. Those are vegetarians and vegans. You know. So and there's really hardly no escape from it, but just be aware what you're eating and what you're smoking. And what you were drinking, right? And what, and what you were taking for medication. Indeed, indeed. Mm-hmm. And see, one of the articles on which that you go back two years ago when we was talking about it going on actually three years, um, they speak about you know this Miami nigger zombie, like I said, who allegedly they they said was the bath salts, but like I said later on. You know, um, I think the guy's name was Rudy Eugene. He was a brother. Mm. You know, it was out of Miami. He was found consuming the face, you know, of another naked man, you know. Mm. Um, you know, who's supposed to have been homeless, allegedly. Mm. You know? Mm. Matter of fact, mm-hmm. he says the officers attempt to force Eugene off his victim with gunfire but he refused to budge and was eventually killed. It was one of the most gruesome things I've ever seen in my um, um, in my life in person, witnessed Larry Vega, um, as he told WSVN. He said, nothing is next. Next to nothing is known about the homeless person on the receiving end of Eugene's bizarre attack, except that most of his face, um, save for his um, goatee, is missing. He is currently fighting for his life in Jackson um, Memorial Hospital. Now, of course, we don't know if he um, lived or died, but it says Eugene was arrested multiple times, mostly on misdemeanor drug charges. His worst offense was a batter, a battery charge at 16 um, that was dropped. According to his ex-wife, from whom he divorced in 2007, it says Eugene was a violent um, hold on a second here. Let me get my phone. All right, so. All right, it said that no one was for him. Everyone was against him. She told WPLG, but stopped short of saying he had mental problems. All right? Now, it says here, we go on, it says, though police had earlier theorized that Eugene's behavior could have been contributed to cocaine, um, it says, fraternal order police, President um, Armando Aguila had since changed the substance of influence, right, to the 
AKO2, AKA bath salts. All right? But then later on in the report, they changed it from bath salts to marijuana. <laughs> okay? So this this is some strange things going on here. And that was one of the first incidents in which, you know, of the zombie um, negative thing, you know, began to take place. Man, there's hundreds um, of, of um, dozens and dozens upon dozens of these things in which that, is of occur- that has occurred, um, you know, all over the country. You know, we ain't just talking about Florida. But we're talking about uh, Milwaukee. You know, we're talking about... New Jersey, we talk about here in North Carolina, mm. in Asheville, we talk about all over the country. You know, yeah. and they were saying the same thing is that it was bath salts, but like I said later on, it became marijuana. So we understand it that they saying that it's marijuana that they are trying to connect it, um, and then like we said, you know, Monsanto coming out with that GMO uh, marijuana. And then these companies, these largest, the largest companies, is getting ready to pick this up, you know, and start putting this, you know, out on the market, you know, it's just for us to be warned, you know, that, and also to be aware of what is getting ready to take place, mm-hmm. you know. They can also uh, get uh, affect us with the with the uh, the chemtrails as well. Uh oh. Yeah, they can they can affect us with the chemtrails big time. Right, right. And they can use that. Well, so we can start using this for chemtrails now. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. The marijuana, the GMO uh, marijuana uh, uh, substances. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Right. Oh, yeah, we should, should have been doing that years ago. You know, so I know that that's what they're saying. Or something right. along that line, and what they're getting ready to do. You know. I mean, diseases that people ain't even heard of before coming to surface. Well, you know. right. Well, yeah. like I said, the con- contingency plan for um, the Department, you know, of War, for the Department, you know, for the, um, for the War Department of the United States, I mean, they said this plan was not actually designed as a joke. During the summers of 2009 and 2010, which was right around when um, this thing began to start taking place. It says, while training, um, our mentees for a local training squadron about the J-O-O-P-P, members of the U-S-S-T-R-A-T-C-O-M components found out by accident that the hyperball involved in writing a zombie survival plan actually provided a very useful and effective Training tool. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now this is what is actually written in the report. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is actually what is written in the report. Let's start watching out. You know, that's that's just you know, like I say, the even the water supply. You know, uh, the water supply, uh, even some liquors, even, you know, the, the, the beer and alcoholic beverages as well. You know, right. So, uh, I mean, <laughs> you've got to watch out for everything. You know. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to. You can't, you can't put nothing past, like I said before, the, the, these, these corporations, well, what they call countries, is being ran by criminally insane people. Twisted minded people, you know, mm-hmm. and, you, and you have to be at that that, that that kind of level for all to think of something like that, to <laughs> exactly. do something diabolic like that, you know. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you, know you have to, you know. I mean, to, to do that, to uh, uh, make uh, uh, talking about Charlie Manson. Charlie Manson ain't nothing but a Girl Scout compared to him. Right, and, and you heard that. Um, uh, we don't know how true it is, but they allegedly had plans of releasing him. Oh, I don't doubt it. You know, I mean, uh, 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 he was an experiment anyway. Right. From the beginning, most people don't know. 
you know, uh, uh, like even what we talk about the topic we talk about now are experimentations. Uh, people just shooting at these schools uh, for no reason at all, for no apparent reason. Oh, well, he was a nice guy. I don't know why. What made him went off on the deep end like that? You know, exactly shooting up about twenty and thirty people. You know, this going on almost every week, if not right. twice a week, in different states. You know, uh, uh, people really have no answer for it. But I keep on telling them these are mind control experimentations, and some of them could be experiments with some of that. Uh, what we talking about now? This GMO uh, uh, marijuana. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, uh, like this, I think about maybe about three, maybe four years ago, a little, maybe a little longer, uh, this Korean uh, uh, a student that killed 33 people on this college campus. You know, they said all of a sudden he just went berserk, you know. Another mind control experimentation. That's all they are. I mean, uh, killings and murders, uh, the kind of murders, I mean, the kind of gruesome murders are unheard of for any generation in history. Right. In this country. Committing crimes like that. Even children, you know, 12 and 13 year old children are rapists. You know, uh, 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 you know like, what? What kind of, you know, <laughs> what kind of shit is this? You know, uh, you know, a 12 year old boy raped somebody, you know, like, oh, what? The, oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, something, yeah. something definitely is going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, what I notice is that the so-called Jews, Zionists, are actually trying to bring about what appears to be the apocalypse, which that is mentioned in the book of Revelations, and they're trying to do it on an external scale, even though the book of Revelation is really talking about something in which that happens internally because it's actually referring to um, the body, mm-hmm. you know, the physical body. But they have people so externalized that they're actually making what appears to be in the scriptures to come true. And this is done purposely to continue to have a people in a state of fear in which that cuts them off, you know, from the um, prana or the universal or cosmic life force energy in which that will flow through us naturally in which that will help with the change and the transformation of our DNA. Instead, with fear, you know, um, it stifles that. It, it it shuts that off. Um, yes, it does. You know, it minimizes um that growth and so we turn that into an illness or dis ease in which that we end up catching um cancer or some other dis ease in which that you know is very hard to get rid of and we actually kill ourselves in that process based off of fear itself. You know, fear is actually uh, you know, the attribute of all so-called negativity, whether it's greed, lust, envy, jealousy, all of that comes from fear, Mm -hmm. you know. And uh, metaphysically, fear is stored in the kidneys um, or in the adrenal glands is directly on top of the kidneys in which that produce adrenaline. So people Mm -hmm. who are always in a state of fear has a high amount of adrenaline in the body in which that causes high blood pressure, um, causes problems with the lymphatic system, it shuts it down. Uh, Matter of fact, one outburst of anger um, you know, which is a you know summation of fear, shuts down the whole immune system for like six hours. So we understand the metaphysical results behind that. So this is a thing in which that is taking place based off of that scenario. Hmm. And them understanding the human body and how the human body reacts to it. Right. Hmm. Exactly. How it affects the human body and man fear. Yeah, because fear is uh, uh, that's why the uh, the uh, uh, the criminals minded people uh, I'm, I'm talking about that's why uh, they uh, spend so much overtime, 24 hours, 24/7, uh, all through night and day, like even while we sleep, uh, planning, you know, our destruction. They are on television, radios, newspapers on putting fear in the people's minds, you know, put a study trying to uh, spread fear around, even some of the so-called uh, uh, conspiracy advocates, uh, right. 
the, like the Alex bill. Jones. David yeah, Ike. yeah, Alex Jones, mm-hmm. David Ike, no doubt. That's all they're doing, they spread fear. But they never talk right. about a remedy. Right, right, because you, you never hear a remedy. I've never heard a remedy from, you know, um, from particularly from Alex Jones. Now, um, David Ike at least attempt to give you some type of remedy as far as, you know, him telling you to look within yourself, you know, that's where God lies and so forth and so on. And, you know, he tell you about the signs of meditation and Kundalini. So he do attempt to. Um, explain those things, but um, a lot of the information is whack as far as uh, you know, them trying to talk about Nubiru and, you know, as if it's just something external of yourself as compared to when you look inside your brain and you find a galaxy-like cloud hovering over top of the you know, over the pineal gland, then you have to ask, damn, what is, what is this? You know, and what is this ancient name in which that the people refer to it as? And then you find out that it actually was called um, Nebhiru or the Golden um, or the Golden Light. You know, because that is what when the Kundalini goes up into that area, it produces that radiance or that sunlight disc around the top of the head, referred mm-hmm. to as the halo or mm-hmm. the Ilios, You know, which is actually Haru or Heru. You know, so you actually become Heru or Melchizedek, because Heru Malkusutek. Marcusu Tech become Michael or Melchizedek. Um, you know, that's that is actually what's going on. And so people understand that, you know, for those who are, who study the occult, you know, but for those in which that is um relying on the information to come, you know, from off of T V or just from an external source, then, you know, there's always going to be problems with that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh it's just not enough people studying the occult. Because they have been again, fear again, they have, that they have been made and programmed to fear uh, such words as occult. You know, they think right. it's something that uh, they don't know is something that uh, it means a science that's been hidden. A, a right, hidden that's science. what I mean. Right. You know, but they think it means something evil, or uh, demonic, satanic. You know, oh, I don't mess with that. You know, oh, I don't mess with the zodiac. You know, because uh, uh, that's right. some evil. There, you stay away from that. You know, right. but the, but every time you think about they, themselves, look at evil. the watch. Uh, mm-hmm. what, what time is it? Uh, oh, it's twelve o'clock. Well, you just dealt with the zodiac right there. No, the zodiac space. That's what the watch and clocks are based off of. The, the twelve exactly. zodiac signs. You know, exactly. I mean, <laughs> you no, know, I mean, man, you know, uh, 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 they, you know. Uh, that's how programmed they are, you know, to program them from away from the truth. And that's what it is. Because the occult world is the real world we live in. Yeah, that's it's the, the only world, world, you know, really. You know, I mean, yeah. this world that we told, you know, if you go back and just listen to what we was told in, in kindergarten, you know, in nursery school, I mean, shit, I mean, they gave us the nursery for it. They said, Nursery rhyme for they said row 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 your boat gently down the stream merrily 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 life is what but a dream but a dream but a so dream. they already told you that this shit was an illusion exactly so right as a child you already knew this was an illusion yeah you know no. um, they told you that this was a dream so the science mm-hmm. is is that okay um, how do you operate in this matrix or this Maya which is an illusion or this dream how do you operate where you operate in which that you possibly can. First, learning the components of how you are a hologram and how a hologram needs light in order to survive. Mm-hmm. Without light, a hologram can't exist. Mm. Well, if your physical body is a hologram, and we know it is because I can take one one drop of blood, one speck of spittle, one strand of hair from you, and clone a whole nother you in existence. Hmm. That's a goddamn hologram. Exactly. So a that's hologram it, needs light in order to survive. So that's you how that's see, possible. Mm-hmm. Right. So that means that when you study Qigong or Tai Chi or in ancient times when they referred to the ancient Egyptians or the, or the um, ancient um, Ethiopians or who was called the Kushites or um, Tanesi um, or, you know, or the Tarsetians, as it was also referred to as. When you go back to the, pre, the pre-dynastic times, you will find that they refer to us as sun worshippers. Mm-hmm. 
because we had rituals set up around receiving the sunlight. Exactly. The rays of the sun. Sun rays. Now, this is a known fact medically that it takes, the sun is 93 million miles away. It takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the sunlight to touch down to the planet Earth. Mm-hmm. Well, no coincidence that it takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds for the light or the nutrients, which is, i.e., what we call vitamins and minerals, to bathe the brain, you know, in the blood, 8 minutes and 20 seconds. It takes the same amount of time. So that means for the blood to rotate through the whole body to the head, it takes that 8 minutes and 20 seconds, just like it does for the sun rays to touch down to the earth. So we understood those sciences because we studied trigonometry. We studied geometry. We studied calculus, algebra. We was the top mathematicians, you know, mathematicians in the world, and still no are. Doubt. Mm-hmm. You know, as far as what we have built, you know, and we ain't talking about, <laughs> uh, we ain't talking about, you know, David Icke or or um, Danovic or any of these others who claim that aliens came and built the pyramids. No, go with that. We understand that right. we built the pyramids. Exactly. Um, and when you look at the ones on the walls. Of the um of the um in the temples where they was built and these pyramids you see us. That I means just that it's just that simple. Even exactly. Richard Hoagland said that um, based on Hawass and the things in which that was taking place um, during the first time when Hawass um, you know retired. Uh, recently they brought him back and then he got caught up into them embezzlement charges and um, and whatever else he got caught up in over there in Egypt. But um, prior to that they said that there was a chamber in which that was open. And when they went down into this chamber, they seen a gigantic statue of a black man pointing towards the star Sirius. Mm. Now, this is what Richard Hoagland said on Coast to Coast. With George wow. Murray, you know, um, you know, so we understand is that this is about us. Mm-hmm. You know, so no more lies. I remember when Brother Hakeem Bay was, uh, was on... Um, was on coast to coast. That's when, um, when um, Mr. Bell was on there, uh, who was the host at that time. Um, the whole damn thing after ten minutes of Hakeem talking went out. Mm. Just straight. Cause mm-hmm. Hakeem was getting ready to drop that shit. <laughs> they cut him off. Mm-hmm. And they cut. They cut him straight off. Not you know, so, right, right, because he started talking about the fact that um, everything in which that they talk about on there is talking about us. When you talk about the extraterrestrial, they talk about us. When you talk about, and Hakeem was saying all of this, and next thing we know, it went off. And I remember asking Hakeem about that when he came on the show um, um, over a year ago, and he said, "Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Um, they called him, and you know, and um, you know." After he started dropping that information, he got cut off, and he tried calling back in and had troubles calling back in and never was able to get back in and then never responded again, you know, to him ever coming on the show, even though they claimed that they said they was going to try to have him back on. So we understand what is, you know, really taking place. So we just have to be um, wise. That's the only reason why we even giving out this information is to be wise, not to put no fear in anyone, because we also um, can tell you about um, how to deal with fear. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is by actually doing the alternating nostril breath technique, which is called a Numa Valoma, and with that you would close off your right nostril, breathe in through your left nostril for a count of four, close off both nostrils for a count of 16, and then um, close off the left nostril and breathe out the right nostril for a count of eight, and then reverse it. And you go back and forth about 20 times, and um, that helps alleviate any fear Um, Also improve the circulation, the lymphatic system. Also, it ends high blood pressure. It also um, synergizes both hemispheres of the brain, enhances the quality between the dendrites and the synapses as they fight off in the brain. Um, The connection between the left and the right hemisphere of the brain become um, real responding to each other. Um, There's no longer a barrier. So we understand what takes place. You know, the Ida and the Pingala, which is the left and the right nostril. The Ida is the left nostril, which is the moon nostril. The Pingala is the right nostril, which is the electrical or sun nostril. Um, when these are activated, you know, 
That means the spinal um, column, along what is called the governing vessel, can also be activated. You know, that means that inside of the spinal column called the shushuna, which is the hollow area in the spine, can now be activated. So the kutalini can now come up as it's being drawn up through the shakti, um, which is the magnetic principle as it pulls up the electrical principle called the kundalini into the spine, the hollow area, so that you can become truly enlightened and truly be a healer. Mm -hmm. You understand that these are the things in which that take place when you practice these particular exercises. So um, in order to alleviate fear, this is one of the things that you can do. Okay? Once again, we told you that fear um, is stored or placed at the kidneys, okay? So kidney problems, you know, deals with the fear factor. There's something in which that you are fearful of, and you have to analyze um, your mental conditioning for that. And then, of course, you have to take various herbs in order to help, you know, mm -hmm. heal those particular uh, kidneys or areas in the lower back mm -hmm. and also help with the the stoppage of the adrenaline in which that is flowing too heavily through the body, mm -hmm. you know, because of the fear factor, you know, it produces that adrenaline. So yeah. dandelion is real good. Milk thistle is real good. Um, faux tea, maca, you know, these particular herbs, horny goat weed, um, these particular herbs, sandal, um, not sandal, but um, saw palmento, picium, you know, these herbs are very good, alfalfa, are very good in order to heal that particular area. And this Qigong moves in which that you can do, one is called lifting um, lifting to the sky, in which that actually you just bend down like, you're, um, like your hands are touching or reaching towards your feet. And as you come up, you inhale, and then your hands raise back, and you bend your, your body into a bow or arch. You pause. For a few seconds Then you exhale And then lean back forward With your hands going back down Towards your feet You know um, That helps with lower back problems Or with the kidneys too So there's many things in which that we can do In order to help alleviate fear um, Coming from Qigong Practicing the pranayamas Or yoga or kundalini yoga um, One of the moves would be the cat You know Um in which that um, the serpent, you know, in which that you can actually arch your back, you know, as you come down from the cat pose, or um, well, some refer to it also. Um, another part of it's called the downward dog, all right. But mm -hmm. you end up with your back arched up, you know. Um, and these particular exercises um, help, you know, alleviate a lot of problems. And loosen you up mm -hmm. You know So we, we come with solutions We understand what's going on So these things have to be practiced every day Because every day you're being bombarded Yeah You know with this With, with panic With fear You know saying so yeah. With these um, things in which that is going on um, Alright we got area code Let me go to the phones We got area code 313 Peace 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 Mm. You got a question now? Got a question now? Okay, we got area code 804. Area code 804, you're on the line. Peace, peace, Brother Ali. Peace. Greetings. Yeah. Hey, um, Brother Ali, uh, this is Brother yeah. Ucia, right? Um, peace out. Uh huh. Okay, the phone dropped. I know what's going on. Okay. All right, for those who want to call in, call in six two um six two six four one four thirty five thirty five. That's six two six four one four thirty five thirty five. Give us a call. All right. Once again, give us a call. Six two six four one four thirty five thirty five. 
Brother L, you got any um, comments to make before we go back to the phone lines? Yes, uh, speaking about fear, uh, they have those also in movies as well. Uh, uh, look at a movie, uh, movie that's, uh, that was made about almost seven years ago called uh, V for Vendetta, and uh, that was dealing with fear. Uh, also, the Bruce Lee story also dealt with fear about him with the dragon. He always had a dream of a dra- dragon as he was a child, but actually it was dealing with his fear of his lower self that he needed to overcome to uh, move forward whatever goal he was trying to reach in life. So, uh, mm. so yeah, that, that that they have those in movies also people need to pay attention to. You know, it's a message. There's always a message behind the message in every movie, you know. Yeah. That show fear in some of your military movies and some of your... Uh, that's overcome, all it's about is overcome your lower, your lower self. That's all it's about. Right. Which is a part of your lower self is fear, uh, which creates uh, uh, a lot of things: hatred, lewdness, uh, jealousy, uh, uh, murder, lust, uh, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, which uh, stings from fear, uh, sickness and diseases. Uh, uh, you name it, it comes from fear. And like you said earlier, uh, 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 it affects our, our kidneys big time. You know, and not this is my first time really that, uh, knowing that until you put it out there like that. You know, it affected the kidneys. People with kidney mm-hmm. problems, it deals with the fear. You know, right. so you know that's what people need to overcome. That the more you learn how to overcome that, uh, with the breathing exercises, uh, uh, the left and right nostrils, uh, uh, enough breathing exercises, get a lot of those toxins out of, out of your system. Uh, that's the start, you know. Like you said, it, it affects the uh, 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 a high blood pressure uh, and uh, diabetes, uh, prostate problems, uh, uh, you name it. You know, you can overcome a lot of that by changing your whole lifestyle and the whole uh, uh, way of living. You can be amazed at the results. And that's the truth. Um, I told a brother. Um, last year, how to do the six three six three breath because he was suffering from um, prostate issues. Mm-hmm. Um, as a matter of fact, he was diagnosed with having prostate cancer. Um, mm-hmm. And I told him that breath technique, and he'd been using it over a year, and he's gone back, and he no longer has prostate cancer. And mm-hmm. that was just, and and he was just like, man, I wanted to thank you, man, you know, for learning that breath technique. And man, it's done wonders for me, man. I don't no longer, I don't have no prostate issues no more, and nothing, you know. And he was just so thankful, man, you know, um, like he was about to cry, you know. And uh, just, yeah. just recently, I seen him like about a month ago, you know, and he was telling me all of this, you know. And he never told me that he had those issues, but you know, but thanks to the breath, you know, he was able to do that, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's the science, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, yes, you might need herbs. Yes, you might have to change your diet. You know, have a fruitarian or, or a liquidarian or, a vegetarian or vegan diet in order to help <laughs> with the cleansing the toxins process. But remember, we told you that night that seventy percent of the waste material that's produced in the body is supposed to be eliminated by the breath. Mm-hmm. Only ten percent of it is is um is eliminated, um by the urination and by the defecation. Mm-hmm. The other 20 is produced uh, or is supposed to be released by via the skin. But 70% mm-hmm. of it is supposed to be released by the breath. So once you in, increase your breath, more toxins are able to be released from the body. You know, you don't get, mm-hmm. you know, people just focus on the diet. But once again, that's only 10% of the waste being removed. Right. Through your piss and shit. So right. the, other, the twenty, the other twenty percent is the skin, which means through the exercise, which that you sweat through your glands, you know, and then the other seventy percent you have to do through um, the science of breath. But people miss that. Yes, they do. So here he is. I told him how to focus his energy at his prostate, and then how he can take that energy, um, you know, and visualize it like on the green mile. You know, you remember on the Green Mile, you have Michael Duncan, you know, 
breathing out. You know, when he mm-hmm. took on some of the illness or disease, he would breathe out, and it would look like gnats or flies coming out. Of right. Him. Well, that's right. the exact that that is the Tibetan um, art actually or breathing method. That that's real. They they use that in the Tibetan schools for eliminating toxins in the body. Hmm. You know, so this is right. real. You know, they let that out and the seed and then the uh, the 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 what the, 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 the uh the mount what's the name of that movie you said now. The two miles. Yeah, the green mile. Mm-hmm. The green mile. The green mile. I, I, I've yet to, uh, to finish watching that movie. Oh, you got to watch that up. You got to. You have to. Yeah, I know it's with a lot of energy as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole thing was about um, this so-called big black man with the initial J C. Jesus Christ, but they called him John Coffey, um, in which that he had they had to dumb him down to sound like a retard, but he had the gift of being able to heal. Mm-hmm. You know, they always got to make the black man, you know, look retarded in order to dumb himself down and make him look dumber than the white man. Um, you know, so, you know, th- this is the whole thing in that particular movie, but you'll see the science in it, you know. I don't like it for that quality, you know, but it, it's, it's not for that. It's just, if you look at it for um, the breathing qualities, I should say, you, you'll find that. Because that's the actual Tibetan science in which they did teaching. That that art is also taught in the um, Rosicrucian lessons too. So, you know, mm-hmm. for those who Rosicrucians out there, um, y'all should know right. exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm. All right, we're gonna go to Eric Code eight zero four again. Peace out. Peace out, y'all. Let me, uh, I got cut off. I don't know how I got cut off, right? Right. But what I want to do well, we got you back you now. Come on. Uh. But what I want to deal with you is the is the uh, you real right? Mm-hmm. And uh, I found out that you real and 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 glad you know has the same composition. Mm. So it's crystal wow. So the you real is is coming from our bone. That's why that's why we. You know, we're not uh, uh, secreting uh, uh, chemicals and, and create new new uh, stem cells. It's a whole lot of unknowns, but our body, you know, is not working like we, you know, once, once you know, when we were 12 years old, 11 years right, old. Right, exactly. We started producing. So, right, so what you think that we should take um, for that? We, should we enhance um, the vitamin D, the calcium, or what? Okay. Okay, this might take since since I found out uh it's not who you are but it's what you are. And and, and kinda of find out from our head to our toe. We all had the lessons. We are electrical beings. We survive all for ecstatic signals, ecstatic mm-hmm. energy. You know. Right. And, and 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 see and uh I just been so so uh, my imagination, you know, and uh, it, it's like I'm, I'm learning stuff every day, every other day, you right. know, and mm-hmm. it's it's um uh, we are ecstatic. That's what we strive all for, and batteries. You know, you got two two sets of electricity, AC, DC. We don't want the AC. We want the right, DC. and um, direct current, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And see, they even tell us in Denver, you know, in you know, in, in Luxor, the battery right. right there. How plain do they have to be to, to, to try to stretch to us, you know? But a uh, uh, DC current strive all for ecstatic signals, ecstatic electricity, you know. Mm-hmm. If you look at the super power movement. They tell you what is, you know, what everything, you know, is about. It's static electricity. And once we start fooling with them batteries, we talking immortality. Mm. Mm. We got to get back to being ecstatic. And see, and see, put some, put some polyester on with that. Ecstatic, uh, all that energy and those signals. 
And see, with them spoils, they don't weaponize. You said we got a case or two here in Virginia where it has an incubation period of 28 days. And it's another one, five days. But the one twenty eight days is 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 very dangerous. It's like right. your whole blood your whole blood system that's uh solidified, you know. Mm. Um now the spores, this how aggressive the spores are, right? It don't need no passageway like your eyes, your mouth, your nose. These spores can catch on to your skin. And guess what? What? It'll prevent, it'll prevent your blood from clotting. Mm, now, okay. what do wow. you think the body would go through if the blood ceased to clot and the, and the, and the mucus refused to clot? See, our mucus got to play a game, too. Right. So, so, so if our blood stops clotting, they say we'll be puking. Our blood, everything, blood could be coming out. If you right. sneeze. Right, similar to like a hemophiliac. Yes, yes. Right, so because they the can't get cut or anything because they can actually bleed to death. The possibilities um, increase exactly. dramatically. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the blood, the, the, the blood, the blood system that goes chaos. I mean, they, they're going right to the to the root of our electrical. Right. When I, when I, when our energy leave our, 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 our brain still, it got to be at its pinnacle. But with these spores, they don't put out there. It's like ain't nobody going to know what to do. But you know what? They can put me in a cage with them some bitches, and I bet you I'll break them up, and they'll get the fuck up off because I'm going to get excited, <laughs> and, I'm, and, I'm, hey, and I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing polyester. I'm playing mm. polyester, but this right. is scared shit that these people are doing. And see, you could be living in an apartment building. And ma- can you imagine somebody, you got some cases in your building, you got to get the hell up out of that. Blood going to be anyway. But mm-hmm. we got to get with them bad ones. But I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm asking too, uh, Brother Ali, do a view analysis. Catch the middle to the end of your urine and store it and watch it uh, mature. Now, if you have energy real at the bottom of your urine, man, you got to get that shit up out of there because uh, uh, later on it will be your dementia. Well, I'm going to say it like this. It will be your diabetes in the brain and your diabetes, your diabetes in your uh, central system, your stomach. Mm. See, it, it's, oh. man, this, shit, it's, this shit coming in and it making your organs go haywire. Right. And it's all electrical. But badness is the only thing that can get that stuff up out of you. You can get you a sheet, any kind of metal, man. Put them badness on a uh, uh, little while on the positive, little while on the negative. Man, you getting it up out you. Batteries. And, 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 and look, brother, I mean, everybody be talking about these detoxes. I tell you what, God damn it, do your best detox. And then after that, oh, do a urinalysis before and end. Now, whatever detoxing program you done did, and you do a uh, urinalysis before and after, and you got that you real, that uh, a calcium deposit, ain't no but glass. You know, the same composition. This is eating at our bones. And, 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 and see, battery is good for the mind. That way, kind of find out, that's how we be uh, uh, producing the stem cells from the, from the mind. Okay. Yes. But it's right. battery. Do a urinalysis. I'm telling you, man, I'm telling you. And see, these Negroes here, they they looking at me, man, and and, and, and they don't know how to take me. But I just met a senator the other day, and and, and he liked the way we feel, you know. I told him I went to Egypt, came back, 
and went right back because I won't no more good when I went over there the first time and came back. And see, them women, they know, man. My man, my wife told me off the dickhead, said, nigga, you ain't going back over there. You ain't going back over there. She read me, man. But I had to go. I risked my right. relationship. I was married. I risked all that. All I knew is I had to get my ass back over there. <laughs> right. That. And look, I don't saw stuff, man. Them, them niggas over there took me by my hand, man, and carried me to some freaky shit, man. I'm like, man, I'm not going in that shit, man. I'm not going I'm not going down there, man. Them niggas know how to ride through the desert. Get on the highway, in the desert, hey. They can't be on a, a strange expedition. But you know, Brother Ali, and, and yeah. all of us, them, them brothers want, hey, man, it, it's like they not fucking with that Islam shit, man. It's like the same right. mindset niggas have here. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And 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 it's it's them boys them boys over there is struggling, man. But you got white people go over there, and man, they falling in love, and they look out for them people, man. Send them money and shit. But I wish the babies could see Luxor. I want to write a book. It, it's a beautiful experience. Going in hey. You know about the Winter Palace, right? Mm-hmm. I heard of it, yeah. Now, you know, you know, they don't let the niggas in that, in that Winter Palace from the other side of the Nile. You know, right? Right. I didn't know. Man, man, I'm from the United States. I can go the fuck anywhere I want to go. I didn't say nothing to the brothers over there, man. Right? So, um, long story short, I walk up in the uh, Winter Palace, and the man, the man looked and like, who let you in here? How the hell you get in here? I walked through all that, that but, but I took all that for granted. So, so, so when I go back across the now, I tell the brothers right, and they like, man, they don't let us up in there because they got a guard shack with, with, with the police with and shit, with them salt rifles, with the with the butcher knife at the end of it. I walked through all. They ain't say nothing to me. I ain't say nothing to them. I went on up the steps and walked through everything. So, I mean, what you think happened, man? <laughs> what? Huh? What, what what happened? I went look. They don't lie our niggas in the Winter Palace in Luxor. The neighbors. Wait. They don't let them in the establishment. So you but so me, wait, you stuck on up in there, or you got a brother uh, to um help you out to get on up in there? No, I walked. I decided in my mind that I want to go and see how that stuff looked inside the building, the hotel. Wait. You know that's where you ride with bars and your uh, 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 what's the other one in charge of the uh antique with this uh, uh, Zahi a wash that Jew? Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, wash. Yeah. You know, all of them go there, you know, yeah. you know, all of them go there, so they don't let the niggas come in there, right? They but don't I walk in there, right? I that's why I made mention of the fact that, um, that um, Richard Hoagland, you know, Dr. Richard Hoagland had to um, make mention of that, yeah, and look. See, it's a lot mm-hmm. of white people being persecuted behind each of but the whole goddamn wall is behind each of Look, right. look, hey, look, you Negroes, you got to wake the fuck up. The reason, the reason they stick it to your motherfucking ass is behind each of And you can tell those who love each of and those who hate it. I'm talking about more see white people. This shit is deep. But this is what I want to, Dr. Ali, that's like, um, Raul Bouvard in the book of uh, the Black Genesis and everything. Uh, he, with all that he he know, right, he still be talking Jesus Christ and that biblical bullshit, man. It's like man. he know, he, this nigga know his limit, man. Them white folks, look, you know the lady Catherine something, can't word that. She, she went over there and did a beautiful piece uh, uh, 
documentary, and, and, and she started with Abu Wash. Look, look, when I saw it, see, I saw Abu Wash in person. The average person don't know nothing about North of the Giza. True? True. Abu Wash, man, look, 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 you got, you got pullers, man. I mean, man, they so huge and everything laying out there and desolate. You got a pyramid north of the Giza with no fucking top on it. Nigga, I've I, I been there, and when I saw that joke on, on YouTube, man, man, I went, man, I went. It, it, was, it was crazy, man. I almost went crazy. I'm like, I saw that, and it won't nobody out there. You can pull off the Cairo Highway, man. You ain't got to pay nobody nothing. There's a whole lot of other stuff like that. You ain't got to pay nobody nothing. And, and, and you got your your court, uh, 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 court granite, man. You just touch it and it crumbles. But it looks like altars. Like that lady Catherine, I can't get a last thing. She going through some uh, uh, persecution. Look, she done lost her daddy. And she had to run. She and hide. I'm telling you, man, white people, man, that they're trying to tell you about Egypt. Nigga, you gotta listen and take that goddamn Bible and that corrupt. I don't need nothing out of it. All I need is to be ecstatic and look through my fucking eyes and listen. It's Egypt. I mean, it's Egypt. Right. I don't listen to the best of the white folks, and they don't want to give us the credit. Right. However, no. it may be. However it may be, motherfucker, they came among us. If that's the case, they didn't come to you. You were just born yesterday. Humble yourself, you little white fucker. <laughs> you fucking with the right. You fucking with the right situation. All oh, niggas don't think alike, man. <laughs> look, look, you been ready to see some real shit. You been ready to see the real nigga, boy. You ain't kill us in all these motherfucking years. You ain't gonna kill us now. I don't give a fuck what you bring. You're right. You, exactly. You right about man, that. Get on your fucking knees and that vote Israel. Fuck Israel. And YouTube, you carry your little spying ass over there to Israel. And Google, <laughs> I can't wait. Fuck you, nigga. You think I'm Pope and ain't got nothing. I'm gonna get like Magneto on your motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> But it's the batteries, Ali. Do that human right. analysis. If you got that cash and deposits, man, get with them batteries. It's batteries and, and, and rocks like I took. I, I had stress. Rocks is like electrical software for our electrical programs. True indeed. It's, look, you fix that, you tweak that electrical all you got to do is put your foot on a rock. You know how to look at rocks. You got rocks with, even with the granite, the rust. Oh, you had a brother that was building on rust. See, I'm shooting the signals through rusty rocks, rusty granite. Uh, uh, you know, the rocks with the quartz crystals in it. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and, and crystals. Crystals is beautiful. But see, they don't get the crystals far enough. What the fuck did you, why are you going to use crystals if you ain't going to shoot no ecstatic energy through it? Hey, 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 man, I could get somebody to hit me in my stomach, man. And and, and look, and I can with that, them, them, them batteries, they're going to take their pain away with with the crystals, shoot, shoot, shoot that ecstatic energy through them crystals and put it on you is a connect. From immortality, I'm telling you, man, you got to shoot that ecstatic signal through crystals, like silicone crystals. Well, I'm going deeper than that. I'm going in the wild and just digging up fucking rocks, man, because the, the software is right there in the rocks. And then, you know what I'm doing now? You know what I'm doing now? I'm taking the, I'm taking the rocks and map and mapping. My antibody, my urine. I'm taking my urine, soaking the rocks. 
and I, I got some now. I've been smoking for a couple of days. I wanted to get like you know old age wine, but right. I'm gonna take my rock salt. I'm doing it now. I take my rock salt and let them dry. Shoot this signal through it. Put my electrical feet on electrical chalk wells. You know or the rock. And look, my wife said, "You think you young?" I'm 51 years old, man. I'm telling you the truth. I look 21, and I got a great yeah. beard. Right. People see me, man. People like they, I, they be drunk. I look, I look like a little boy. Hello. Them <laughs> got, them got me looking good. I'm looking so young that I look. Mentally challenged. That's good, Ock. And uh, matter of fact, I had a sister to call um, to contact us this past week, and she wanted your phone number um, about the um, battery, um, about the battery and that information and everything that you was. Um, she heard one of the um, earlier radio shows um, with you on there talking about it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So um, if you don't mind, I'll give her your phone number. Yes. And and, okay. and, and, okay. and she need to give it to her her baby because we need we need to give back there to them bad because right. they don't took us back to the to the stone age. We in the fucking stone age for real, you know. They playing with all the cream and leaving us nothing, but we can get it back. All you gotta do is give with them bad and let your imagination kick in. But if I see over here all these granite outlets, they don't sell. A uh, 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 quartz granite. The only, the closest I can get is a uh, uh, quartz marble. But if I can get my hand on some quartz granite, ooh, that's immortality. If I okay. get back over there, I will wash with my little machine. I could live forever. Because they know how to get that life out of that mineral. They knew, they knew what it was and what it meant. It's electrical software for our electrical program. And, exactly. And, 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 and the thing what I'm doing with my rocks, I put I, I look for nice, beautiful rock formations. I like the flat ones. And I, I got other exotic, you know, but I like the flat ones. And I set that on, on, on my conductor. Ooh. I'm talking, I'm mapping the, the whole rock. With my anchor body, all that my body didn't need, it went through, you know, I pissed. Now, you did the knowledge to the human, uh, uh, right? Uh, yeah. Right, right. You did the knowledge to it. And it's true. And see, I'm taking that human and I'm shooting the signal to it. And I'm getting ready to hydrogenate my human. Just okay. Right. Hydrogen nature you want. But when I get my the resources that I really want, I'm gonna hydrogenate my blood and I'm gonna give it back to me. But I got to do it for these people release these four. That that is our battle, man. We got to take our blood and strengthen it to the point to the point where these spores won't have no effect. So you got to take your blood and get it very ecstatic, hydrogenated. Know how you have them, them, them lab tubes? Yes. You have to put yourself in a tube and shoot ecstatic signals, ecstatic energy through it, and, and, and give it back to yourself. You watch. Man, you gonna have to get around these crazy people because they they ain't gonna know how to save themselves and they ain't gonna know how to live. They gonna be like niggas in penitentiary, full of fear. I don't hey, hey like y'all was feeling on fear, Doctor Lee and other brothers. You right, fear ain't nothing but pure poison. I see grown grown men, nigga in his cell looking at his TV. Nigga done lost his money at the, the lost his last hand at the poker table. Go well, right in nigga cell and take his TV. Mm. Look, that's the day I'm going to have to wear an ass whipping every time I see him. <laughs> All he do come out to say is get some ice so he can drink a cold soda. 
Nigga, that took his whole, <laughs> whole fucking TV, you know. But it's balanced amongst us. A lot of us, you know, oh, it's balanced because you got y'all two brothers and, and, and I'm struggling and scrambling. Look, we out there, but we don't know who and where, you know. We just don't know where each other at. We don't know each other. Just as near as we can get to each other. But that's all right. When they knock that motherfucking light out, nigga, you get ready to see some super pie. I don't know where it will come from, you know. And, and, hey, and see, when I went to pay attention, when I was in receiving, the, the people asked you where you want to go. I, I want to go right there where all the pool tables at. And niggas was getting killed every day. I love it. Them niggas that, the niggas that was getting killed, they put themselves in that situation. I ain't got nothing to do with that. So they were like, why do you want to go over there? Because I see all the pool tables. I love pool, shooting pool, you know. So it's like fear is poison. And it, it, will, it, will, it, will turn, it will turn you great. My granddad fought in World War II. He was one of the cannonball drivers. Um, Dr. Lynn, you know about the cannonball drivers? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I heard about him. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, uh, brother, you said you did. Red Ball Express. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. The, the Cannonball drivers, they would they would drive the supplies down to the front line. Right. And, and, and bring it back. What up? Them them niggas were riding in a, a, a road full of mines. Look, look. White people were like, how these niggas is making it back? Hey. It was some type of intervention for a lot of them niggas, man. A lot of them didn't make it, but a lot of them did to come back to make the tell his story. My granddaddy, and he said a lot. Everybody had gray hair. He said, he said the fear was so great. He was in Germany. He left a wife, my mama, and a younger sister back. That nigga went over there. He was driving big machinery and jeeps. Everything that had a third wheel on it, he drove it. And he came back, and he said that the next battle going to be on the soil of America. And he was telling us how they did the, the, the white people over there and, and got them in Germany. Hey, the man cried. His wife ain't want her. My grandma ain't want her. But he said it gonna, it's coming here. He was saying that from day one when he came back over here. That man came back and said the next war, the next battle going to be on the soil of America. Right. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and see, no I mean, right now we got um, China posted up right in Mexico, and um, right now the largest debt holder for the United States that far ends is China. Um, mm-hmm. And what if they yeah. want to come and collect on their, you know, on their, um, <laughs> you know, on their debt? You know, exactly. so we definitely see the possibilities of that. Hey, now pick this up. Now, now China. China done wrote a check, a death, uh, 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 a death check with their name on. Now they think they got all the power. Now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you who you think got the biggest gun. You think China gun bigger than United States gun? Russia gun big? You watch. See, United States never a uh, rent free. I mean, uh, she on crack. She, she out of her mind. But. She ain't dumb. She know what she's doing. I'm telling you, it may seem like it, but you can really see the United States crush everybody. Everybody making good money to that these people finish using their ass, and that's when they're going to have to destroy their ass. But see, they, I don't know why they don't think the United States or this Jew, this, this uh, American Zionist don't have that big gun. You know, and, and uh, it, it, they think they got all the sense. They they just think they got all the sense, but the United States got the big gun. Oh, oh, Doctor Lane, did you hear about um uh Madu being in South Africa? Well, he could be anywhere now, but they said he here. Now, peep this out. When you got the intelligence, you 
from the United States, France, Britain, uh, 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 Switzerland, you name them, all intelligentsia singing the same song that Ma Duke is here. Mm. Yeah. I'd like to know, you know, what your take is. Well, I, 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 I didn't know that uh, my dude was here, uh, yeah. but I have heard of him. Yeah, that, and I, see, I, yeah, and see, that's dangerous. Anytime you got the intelligentsia of the United States, all the leading industrialized nation, intelligentsia, singing the same fucking song, this can't be a lie. Right. And, and you know something? This thing's so deep. It's, uh, when I last heard we was in the mix, of uh, 22 uh, all worlds of oil from the from the center of the earth. I don't I don't know where they from, but they said they we are in the mix of them. And out of that 22, like 16 is is directly involved with us. Hmm. We like we like laugh people to them. And you hmm. see and see you know another thing. See that darling sheep that. All that, I don't know why they came out with that, but they've been cloning people ever since 1923, uh, where they was introduced to cloning in 1923. Right. Eight years later, 1931, 1932, they perfected it. 1930, the thing, that's like 85 years ago. So how many how many clones you think they got on this earth? No telling. And who you think driving them, driving them, them, them playing them chemtrails? It, and, and see, we, that's, I'm going to give you a good example. That's like the porno industry. See, we're doing everything we see the clones do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I told them, Obama DNA came from the Battle of the King. I bet you. That nigga came from the valleys, and they ain't going to do a goddamn thing to him either. They love that nigga. <laughs> ain't that going to happen to him? They, it, it, look, they talk all the shit they want. That, and, and see, he ain't no homosexual neither. See, like, 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 like Gordon Duff said, look up Gordon Duff. Gordon Duff said what? EPMJ Media. Put all that stuff up. Then you got this auto clown. Uh, Lars uh, Sinclair or whatever. But whatever the case is, they had him in since he was a little baby. So what? He going he to turn around and kill all of you. Mm-hmm. But my dude, I believe he's here, and I believe it's going on. That like when Mandela died, everybody came up to America, Zionists, and, and, uh, you know, the Zionist people, wherever they may be, you know. They didn't show because they know they had to sit down with my dude. And all of them sitting down with my dude. Hmm. Uh, uh, they got this Ph.D. writer from uh, Veterans Today. The reason I like Veterans Today because you got a whole array of writers. And whatever you write, your ass going to be whole attested to. You're going to be mm-hmm. questioned. You know, that's what yeah. I like, man. So, you know, you can't sell drugs within the, in the, the school zone and think you ain't, ain't, your ass ain't going to get snatched up. <laughs> this ain't no fucking dictatorship. And don't and, and, and if you get mad, then I know, I know somebody ain't right about you. If you're going to write mm-hmm. a book and can't nobody question you about your book. Hmm. But, hey, Dr. Lee, look, this is another thing I would do. Yeah, I was over in Egypt for nine, ten months, came back six weeks, went back and stayed some more months. Why do people go there, man, and they look around, and, and look, they carry their rich ass back home, and they just liquidate whatever and whatever, and just come back and just build themselves beautiful. Hey, for these young, for these young black, 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 uh, 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 youngsters that was educated and everything, all, boy, can't go, they should have carried their ass to Egypt, build themselves, and build a bridge. It, ooh, Luxor is so great. Look, look, you got people so poor, but they got land. You can go there and build for them. They got theirs, and you got yours. 
Mm-hmm. It's back there in the valleys, man. It's great. It's great. And 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 you know, we were smoking a little shisha and and uh, 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 a little shiba and thing. You know, you had some of them would break off and go do their salat and, and and come on back. The other brother, like you know. I ain't no Muslim, and them niggas talk more English than I do. They be teasing me. I talk English better than you. I'm like, so? Get a passport. <laughs> you know? But them niggas is real aggressive over there. And they mm. smart. They real smart. Them niggas take them cell phones and do shit with them that these niggas can't do. <laughs> I talk about niggas that buy our footage, man. They turn a damn cell phone all to pieces and get up in your camp. <laughs> That's why I'm like, man, no, you can't see my phone. You know, they tell me anytime. He clever. You can't touch my phone, man. Get, get the fuck back. <laughs> you know, because I'm telling you, if you're not to handle yourself anywhere, man, your ass will get buffalo. Because <laughs> and, and, I, I was going to smack one of them with a bottle, man, over there, man. You know, and my wife would worry me about coming on back. I probably see a little bit because we were doing, I mean, we were doing it nice. I mean, she over here, I'm, I'm over there and everything. But um, um, one of the niggas tried to get aggressive with me, and I had that ball, I going to swing like this motherfucking ass. And the other brother said, Yusuf, 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 you can come live with me, Yusuf. Come up here, Yusuf. <laughs> Where's your stuff at, Yusuf? I went there and got my shit, came on back up, and, 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 and paid $200 cheaper. But that why I was mad. Like, nigga, why are you charging me all this money? You talking about you my motherfucking brother, nigga. Man, you going to push this shit on me? And that nigga saw that bottle down there. Yeah. I, you know, but that's what I went through. And, uh, and hey, them nigga was drunk. I look just like them. The average nigga you see around here, man, man, them people would think you dim and... I want to go back. <laughs> but do that joint, do that joint analysis. Everybody that listening, after about three weeks, you're going to see them crystal deposits. They ain't going to put cash in them, but it look like glass. Mm-hmm. Of course. The same composition. It's coming from our bones. See, that coming from that lead. We put we put charge on that on on on, on that stuff in the in the air because mm-hmm. the cold. We put charges on that stuff and getting diabetes out of head and diabetes out of stomach. And like I say, whatever uh, uh, detoxes you got, do a urine analysis before and after. And if you see the uh, uh, calcium deposits, the glass in the the glass in the bottom of your urine. You got to try a little harder. I'm sorry. You, you, look, I'm, my body is like it's 12 years old. I'm studying producing stem cells and all the other unknown. Mm. I feel great. I don't get tired. Oh, this is what I want to tell you since my wife ain't around, right? We got a new bed, man. She went and got a bed with all that old foam, foam and shit in it. I like the bed.